This video goes over Extrema, how to find the minimum and maximum of functions, both symbolically and numerically, and also of data sets. Let's get started. We start by setting the interface display precision to minus one. Normally I set it to five, but by having it minus one, it displays all the digits it's going to use. We're going to do a function and here's our plot. Let's find the minimum and maximum of this function. To derive the minimum of this function, we use minimize of f of x. Notice it returns the precise answer. If we want to find the location of this minimize, we can say, well, let's apply this to solutions. Minimize f of x location. It returns the minimum and a set of a list of all the locations where that minimum occurs. From here, we can assign the answers to some values. For example, f min colon equals solutions one. To find the location, f min location, we have to be a little careful. It's in solutions group two. Within group two, it's within group one. And within group one, it is the first element. Now, this actually extracts out the set of where x is. To find the value of actual x, we can say f min location colon equals evaluate x in f min location, and it pulls out the value. Not surprisingly, to find the maximum of a function, we have to use maximize. And it is this value here, which is located over at this location. If we happen to have a function with two maximums, we can say maximize this function, g of x, give us a location. And as you can see, again, there's the maximum value. It occurs at both x minus 2 and x plus 2. So what happens if you have two maximums? You could have a local one, and then you could have the global one. Again, if you use maximize, let's look for h max colon equals maximize of h of x and it returns that value. Hmm, where is that located? What if we evaluate as a floating point h underscore underscore max? And it turns out it's a positive value about here, 0.6. But let's say what we're really interested in is what's the value here? Well, to do that, we set the limit of where we want Maple to do the search. H max local colon equals maximize H of X, where X goes from minus 10 dot dot to zero, and it will look only in that region evaluate the floating point of h underscore underscore max local close and it says it's about 1.8 let's return to this example here where we have both a minimum and a maximum and let's calculate the value of it and its location and there's our answer precisely let's get a floating point evaluation of this eval f of f underscore underscore min and you can see this is the value at x equals minus 0 0.2. There's another way to get these answers, and I'm going to use it through the optimization package, colon dash minimize, notice it's capital minimize, of f of x. And it returns the same value, in fact, to more significant digits and the location to more significant digits. To extract out those values, f underscore underscore min colon equals solutions number one, that's the element of the first one, and the location x underscore underscore min colon equals solutions, it's in the second group, and we have to evaluate for x in that second group, or you can look for the right hand side of the second group. Let's return to this example 
And notice that there are some issues with the optimization package in that it tends to look for only local and not necessarily global. For example, here it's not so bad. H solution underscore and score one colon equals optimization colon dash maximize open parentheses H of X where X is somewhere between zero and infinity escape. And, and there it is. It finds the location, uh, the, what it is, the maximum, and its location. But if I say H sol underscore underscore two colon equals optimization colon dash maximize of H of X, where max equals minus infinity dot dot zero. It has to be careful because it needs some sort of initiation point. Notice it says that it has no first order conditions. So we give it a little bit of help. H solution underscore underscore two colon equals optimization colon dash maximize colon dash H of X. And again, we're going to say where X is equal to minus infinity only in this region escape, oops, infinity escape, dot, dot, zero, comma, initial point equals, and then you have to give it a set because optimization uh, works with multiple dimensions. X equals minus one. End of curly bracket, close parentheses, and it finds both the location and the actual value. Now, what if you have a data set and you want to find the minimum and the maximum of this data set? Well, it's not minimize and maximize, it's min of the data set, comma, and the max of the data set. What if you want to find the index of these minimum and maximums? Well, to do that, it's a little bit non-traditional you actually have to put the square brackets to say only the subtext of the index of the data set, comma, maximum, again, the index, where, what is the location, where this maximum is, data set, oops, I got to write in set, and it says the minimum occurs at the second element and the maximum occurs at the third. What if we have a multiple dimension function. Can we find the minimum and maximum? Notice this function has several local minimums, several local maximums. Let's see what it looks like there. Okay, we're going to hit enter. And again, we'll say solutions, colon equals, we'll get the calculate the maximum. Maximize of the u of x, y, and we're going to give it a little help. It's going to say x is going to be in the region from minus 3 dot dot 3, and y is going to be in the region from minus 3 dot dot 3. And we'll look for the location. Now, if you hit enter, it takes quite a while and gives you a lot of stuff, which includes a zillion roots of Let's go back and redo this, but instead we will evaluate as a floating point this function that we are going to look for its value. Hit enter. Wait, 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 and there's the value. The x location, the y location, and the actual value. Optimization is much faster at this. Solutions, colon equals... optimization colon dash maximize of u of x of y again x going from minus three to three y going from minus three to three and we're going to again give it a little bit of help by providing shift enter an initial point initial point equals curly bracket x equals one y equals one close curly bracket close parentheses boom it gets it immediately 
minimize and maximize, min, max, and the optimization procedures minimize and maximize are usually all you need to find the extrema of functions and data sets. In the document, I have also included how to solve using single variable calculus, i.e. the traditional method, as well extrema, which is Maple's version of Lagrange multipliers.